farming is the engine of our national life. Many of us who pursue a profession in life never give a second thought to the fact that farming and agriculture is the first profession that Allah God introduced to man. The first profession is the basic support for all labor and all divisions of human labor is the labor of tilling the ground. So farming and animal husbandry are the first professions and are the engine of every nation. We can do things to feed and clothe and shelter ourselves. Don't let them make you afraid. Where do you stand in this? You better hurry and get yourself together because all those things that you talked about today, gardens in the community, putting gardens on the roof, learning how to feed yourself because if you grow the food, you know what's in it. That's right. Did you know that corporate America has bought up tens of thousands of acres of land? And do you know that they've made so many atomic weapons? Do you know that they're growing food under soil that is toxic poison with nuclear stuff? Did you know that the food that you're eating is killing you? Did you know that the water that you're drinking is killing you? You like to eat fast food? Fast food is death food. You don't know. I mean, you trust so much your enemy and you're so fearful of a man that will tell you the truth. No African government can be free with its mouth in the kitchen of Europe. Every African government must Every African government must grow food to feed itself. Every African government, I repeat, must grow food to feed itself. Do not let Europeans tell you that your land cannot grow food. You are eating. The animals are eating. Grow food and become self-independent. For when you grow your own food, make your own clothing and build your own shelter, you become economically free, but you are tied to Europe in an ungodly way. You buy butter from them as though we can't make butter. We buy milk from them. We buy material from them that we could grow right on the African continent. I say, brothers and sisters, I want to be a leader, not for others. I would love to be a leader that God approves of, that leads for the sake of God and for the sake of the people. Remember the Million Man March. It took all of us working together to make that great, great day. That's a template for how we can do what we need to do.